Have you ever wanted to create your own functions or tools within SETI Astro Suite? Well, now you can, featuring scripting. Welcome to SETI Astro. As always, if you don't have the latest version yet, head over to SETIAstro.com under Astro Program SETI Astro Suite Pro. Current version is 1.5.x. There's a download here to get it from GitHub. The mirror site's a Google Drive site. There's the 100 hours on my Andromeda that you can have for practice data for free. And there's the video on how to just run it from the source code, which I find is the best and quickest way to actually update and run City S Suite Pro. So the big update is scripts. I was able to get uh, scripting within City S Suite Pro. You find it under scripts now. There's an editor. There's a built-in scripts folder that is generated and stored alongside the hardware acceleration folders in there. So you don't need to create any new folder or anything. It'll do that for you. Uh, there's a button to reload scripts. If you add scripts, it'll research through that folder and make sure that they're at it. Uh, create sample scripts will be good. The very first time you run the new version, there'll be no scripts in that folder. So you're gonna wanna click create sample scripts. And then it'll say that it created these uh, three scripts for you. Then you can reload the scripts and under samples now, you'll see that there's there's three scripts for you. Uh, they're, they're nothing fancy. They're really there as a guideline, a backbone to help you create uh, new scripts. So if you open the script editor, it'll end up opening uh, probably docked to the right side. You could easily just, you know, move this thing wherever you want, reshape the size. You could even you could even move it over on a separate screen. Uh, this just allows you to edit and run the scripts directly within SETI Astro. So you could troubleshoot and, and do things like that. And then there's the, the editor here. There's find and replace, you know, just kind of normal find and replace stuff. You could also do like control F and control H for find and replace. Uh, you know, just, just normal kind of niceties like that. I got all the rows numbered for you when you're trying to sh troubleshoot. There's also an output and a traceback. And so I have just three little scripts in here that kind of walk through an example on, on doing this. This is full Python scripting. There's a huge amount of libraries you have access to from the creation of SETI Astro Suite Pro itself. And then I made a bunch of my functions callable within the script as well. So if you click command help, this is uh, going to be pretty important for those uh, power users that are going to be using the script editor. There's a quick start. There's the different uh, commands that can be called, how to get an active view, image data, main window access, listing different uh, window targets, the actual documents, creating a new document, running commands. Here's all the libraries available to call from. So it's pretty much everything that I built SETI Asset Suite Pro from, you could use in your scripts, right? So you could build essentially anything I've built in SETI Asset Suite Pro as a script and, uh, and utilize it. And then I have a whole bunch of callable functions, right? Uh, this is just ways to use some of the functions that are already built into SETI Asset Suite Pro call them directly from a script so you don't have to reinvent the wheel on a lot of these things, right? Stretching curves, statistical stretch, rotating, flipping, even things like wave scale, HDR and stuff is in there. There's linear fit, white balancing, debayering, background neutralization, calling external programs like Ricardo's aberration removal, cosmic clarity, Graxpert, all those, all those items are callable within here as well, just to help your scripting along. But I think the biggest help is going to be utilizing these three sample scripts to build it and your own scripts. So the three sample scripts, they're, they're pretty, pretty self pretty self-explanatory. There's the invert one. So you could run it or you run it on the base. And the reason there's two separate ones is if you have a, region of interest preview tab. If you run the script, it's just gonna run it on that preview tab and not the full image. And then if you click run on base, it actually runs it on the full tab and not the preview tab. 
So it allows you to either just run it on the active image, or if you have a preview tab open, or if you specifically just want to run it on the, the base document, the base image under the full tab. If you click new, you're going to have to give it a name. This is going to be my, my new script. And it gives you a little, you know, a little hello world script just, just to run. If you run this, all it does is print down in the console, hello from new script, right? That's, that's, that's all it's doing. But because you have it as a script name, a new script, a script group user, if you look under scripts now, there's a user and the new script. So that's how you're going to organize these things up here as well. There's the script group. You could change this to whatever. Maybe you're going to start doing a tools or something, right? So we could, we could save that. We could reload our scripts. And if you look under here, now it's tools, new script. Just another way to organize your scripts. And then uh, the other really nice thing is if you click open scripts folder, it's going to open the scripts folder for you. Again, you didn't have to make this. It just auto makes it and, and, and puts it with the other stuff for SetIS Suite Pro. And here's all your script files. This is where you're going to get your script file to share with other people. So if you get a new script from somebody, go ahead and click open the scripts folder. This is where you could drag and drop the script in. Once you drag and drop it in, be sure you click reload scripts and it's going to show up down here for you. And that's going to be an amazing way to share them with others and, and all that. On my Discord, I have a, a, a whole scripts forum where you could share scripts, talk about issues you have creating them, cool things you've done in them, things of that nature. So on my Discord, I have a scripts share help, cool stuff. Uh, where you could post new topics, share scripts, all that stuff. Uh, there's there's nothing yet. Nobody's nobody's made scripts in Cydia Suite Pro yet. So uh, it's it's new frontier in Cydia Suite Pro, and I think this would be a, a great spot that you could just start sharing all your your cool stuff once you start developing it. So let me just go through the uh, three sample scripts to get you up and running. The first one is invert. It's pretty self-explanatory it uses the numpy library it's going to just grab the active image and it does some quick checks make sure it's in 32-bit uh, which it will be everything in city suite pro is 32 bits uh, if it's greater if it has a value greater than one it's just going to normalize it to, to one and then it's going to go one minus the image that's this is the big invert part right here just one minus the image is actually invert and then it's going to set the image and say and say it's done. So if we run it, it inverts the image, and then we have it even it even puts it in the undo. That uh, invert via script, right? That's what we had right here. Step name invert via script. The next one is a lot more involved. Gives you an idea of what you can do in here. This is going to be a, a stars preview. It uses some QT6 stuff or because we're going to be building a UI and this is it's going to build the UI for us we're going to have zoom buttons we're going to use the we're actually going to call the headless operation for white balance in here to to find our stars and do a white balance for us and the entry point at the very end is always going to be this this run that's the entry point you're going to need for all your scripts. But if we run this one, now this is the UI it created. There's a threshold for the number of stars. It has some zoom in abilities. You can see the stars are, are circled here. You can adjust the sensitivity of the star detection threshold. And then it's going to update it as you make it more and more sensitive, right? Non-stellar stuff gets picked up in the detection. And then uh, if you just wanna use these stars for a quick white balance of your current image, you can. You just click apply the white balance to the image and and, and it applies it. Uh, there's also the, the auto stretch here too. So it's just a great 
sample script that shows you how to create a UI. It pulls the image in and actually gives you a preview. You have zoom buttons. It uses a headless operation, white balance. It has a slider to update thresholds for star detection. It overlays this image with little circles on all the stars. And it has the, the auto stretch in here. So there's a lot of stuff happening in this particular script that you could use across a bunch of scripts, right? I'm imagining a lot of scripts you're gonna have, you're gonna want a preview and zoom buttons and, and be able to call a headless operation. The final script I have in here is instead of just using the active image, maybe we want to use other images in here. And this script's going to help you do that. So in this one, I have two images here. My RG, or I spelt that wrong, <laughs> RHB H alpha and RGB version two. And if we run this script, all it's going to do is average the two documents together. And there's a drop down now where you can select your two different documents and you could average them into a new document. And then it's gonna say it created the new document and, and here's the new document over here. And it's just the average of the other two. So this sample script shows you how to do drop downs to find the different views you have in there and utilize those selections inside the script. Right now, if I run it again, now you're gonna see three things in the drop down because we have three documents here. So I hope these three different scripts help springboard you on utilizing scripting within City S Suite Pro. Again, it's full Python scripting. Pretty much whatever you could do in Python, you could do in the script here. There's the command help, uh, which tells you a bunch of how to, to utilize this stuff. And my recommendation is copying a lot of this stuff here, maybe the top three here under docs and these sample scripts into something like ChatGPT. Let them know you're scripting in City S Suite Pro. Here's some sample scripts. Here's the documentation for scripting within City S Suite Pro, what you want to do in your script, and it's going to help you create, create a new script. And I think that's just a, a great fast way as well for beginners that maybe don't have a whole lot of coding experience um, to get up and running scripting within City S Suite Pro. So let me know in the comments if you guys uh, are creating cool new scripts. If they're, if they're really awesome, I could just incorporate them then very easily into City S Suite, right? It's, it's all the correct language already. <laughs> I can make it a real function in future versions of City S Suite Pro if if it's if it's a cool idea, right? So I'm really excited that this is gonna get the community involved in really propelling City S Suite Pro with brand new ideas and being able to do things that have never been done before. Please comment, like, and subscribe.